What's up, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome to the Love Shack. No, <laughs> no. it's the Whiskey Hideaway, and I got my buddy Alex. You may have recognized him from a previous video where we were doing a blind tasting of uh, three different uh, uh, bottled and bonds back then. Uh, yeah. That turned out really good. Uh, he's joining me today for my installment number four of the uh, Bourbon Bartender. This is number four cocktail of 50. So if you didn't catch the other three, go back, check those out, and uh, stay tuned for the other ones coming up. But this one today is called the Improved Whiskey Cocktail. I'm well, excited. Yeah. I'm excited, too, because I actually dropped a little bit of coin for this cocktail, but... I'm going to use it in other stuff as well, thankfully. Uh, I'm trying to learn and expand my bartender knowledge, which I have none. So, you know, uh, for those of you that came here looking for an expert to guide you through a cocktail, <laughs> this is not it. We're learning as we go. At least I am, you yeah, know. I'm an expert at drinking. Oh, he's okay. So me and you are the same in that aspect. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So we've got our rocks glasses with a nice little spear of ice. And yes, when you pour stuff over that, it'll become clear. So uh, those are my really good ice balls. Love Shack style. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, we've got a shaker with some ice in here. We better hurry because it's melting. Um, so the first thing is we've got uh, Old Granddad right here is going to be included in this cocktail. So we need uh, two ounces of old granddad since we're making two cocktails we gotta double it up so there's one and there's two all right now next up we need a quarter ounce of am i pronouncing this right maraschino 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 i don't know no. anyway it's a it's a luxardo um Mara maraschino uh yeah whatever this is um liqueur yeah so uh this is something i've never had before me neither it sounds really good though yeah yeah, yeah. uh all the way from from italy all right so we only need a quarter of an ounce so just a little itty bit so uh double that it's half huh yeah oh. half an ounce yeah. so okay well that's easy enough to do because this is a half ounce right here. Right there. All right. So there's our half ounce. Now we need eight drops. Eight. Eight drops. So 16 drops. I don't know how much that equates to, but I don't have a dropper. So we've got this uh, absinthe uh, right here. It's 110 proof. So we're, we got 110 proof on top of 114 proof. Oh, God. And I don't even know what proof this is. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. I mean, well, this is a liqueur, so it, it can't, oh, it's 32%, so 64 proof. So, all right. So we're proofing it up on this bad boy. All right. So uh, 16 is about like a tablespoon full, I think. Okay. Well, I am just going to put just the littlest bit. Cool. What do you think of that? You think that's enough? Sure. Okay, whatever. We're eyeballing it. Okay. And it wasn't until today, it was the first time I, I when I opened this bottle before this filming, uh, I, I had uh, what they call the ritual, which is, uh, it's supposed to be done over a sugar cube. Didn't have a sugar cube. I just used some simple syrup. So, you know, I've screwed up the ritual already. But yeah. you're supposed to take a sugar cube and use three ounces of water, pour over it through the little strainer thing that it comes in the box, and then uh, two ounces of absinthe. And it was good. We tried it, and it's very peppermint, licorice, licorice you know, star Warm, anise. Wormwood, for sure. Wormwood, yeah. yes, very much so. But it's good. All right. And, uh, oh, yeah, we need... Two drops or two dashes of Angostura bitters. So four, one, two, three, four. I always spill some on the bar when I pour this. It's part right. of ritual. Now, uh, it does call for a lemon garnish. Don't have that. Don't have it at all. So uh, any citrus notes that we needed in this thing, nah, I don't have it. All right. So 
It's said to put it in a mixing glass, but all I have is the bottom of the shaker here. I do not have an actual mixing glass, something maybe that I'll get in future, but not right now. We'll go ahead and stir this up and dilute it a little bit. Get nice and cold. I think all glasses are mixing glasses if you stir it enough. True. I mean, it doesn't need to be super fancy, but yeah. you know, I do want to get some of the, the glassware that I don't have, like a coupe glass or yeah. something like that. All right. So here we go. Okay. Definitely looks a little bit redder than a regular old fashioned. That is. It's got like more of an orange tint. Yeah, but also realize that this is a bourbon cocktail without any sweetener in it. I mean, yeah. unless you the, count the maraschino. The maraschino, I guess. Um, but I, you know, I, yeah, I've never had it, so I guess I can't really speak to the did sweetness you, of it. But did you smell it when you open it? I no, I didn't. How sweet does it smell? Smells like cherries. Yeah, I think that's going to be really sweet. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll, hopefully there we'll we see. go on that. All right. So this is what did I say the improved, the improved whiskey cocktail. It's not an old fashioned, but it's an improved whiskey cocktail. And it does look really pretty. Yeah, uh, it does. Yeah. I mean, that's nice. We hold it up. We'll get our thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Here's the thumbnail. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cheers, cheers. brothers. Oh, that is good. Wow. The cherry definitely sweetened it. Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. And uh, I get, the absinthe is coming through a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's kind of that... Um, I don't, it's like the back end. I of, barely taste the whiskey at all. No, it's, it's like it's not there. Yeah. Whew. Oh my goodness. That is, whew, that is still dangerous. like fire. It's still like fire going down though. Yeah. Uh, mm. Mm. I get, um, I'm tasting like, uh, cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon kind of like, um, like, a like a cherry licorice almost. Cher it's, cherry licorice or, and or, then like, or, or, or uh, with a little spice to it. Like cinnamon like bread spicy, or something. Yeah. Like a like a Christmas. Mm. You sure it's not from that stuff that we were yeah, drinking no, earlier? <laughs> no, like different type of Christmas. I did a, I did a, a a video on that one as well. Um, is that whiskey that tastes like gingerbread? Uh, Fishers, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. No, this is like a Thanksgiving pie or if something. I can understand why they want you to have a lemon wedge with this because if I had that smell of citrus right now, this would be over the top good. Oh, yeah. But, okay, so for your at-home bar, if you're thinking about doing this cocktail, if you've already got these things, great. Uh, if not, this is an expensive cocktail for, you know, especially doing a one offer here. So I'm definitely going to try and find some other uses for this so that I, you know, get my money back um but um the old granddad i've had this thing on my shelf for like i don't know like two years it's just never been one of my go-to's but it's not bad whenever i'm in a bad mood i'll have some granddad yeah. you know but uh it's almost gone but thankfully i had some for this one because that's actually what it calls for all the cocktails we've done up till now we've done it with other whiskey or bourbon most of the time it's always been rye yeah you know for, for both my manhattan and my old fashions it was rye so, and then the other one that we did was called uh, a sling. And that was interesting. It had powdered sugar in it. Hmm. Yeah, it was really cool. But uh, yeah, so if you didn't get the chance to watch those videos, go back and check them out on my channel. Uh, I've got another video that we're going to film here in just a little bit. So that'll be posted maybe next week. Um, and that's going to be a new, just a new tasting. And while Alex, I got Alex here, maybe we can knock that one out too. And have I'm a not going to say no. All right, Black Panther. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, everybody.